The temperature hasn't hit 100 yet, but we're headed into August, and that's always a hot month in southeast Texas. KFTM's Leslie Rangel tells us what one group of students is doing today on National Heat Stroke Day to help keep their peers safe. Detail, Hudson, Hut, West, bro. Uh, today we have our freshmen. This is their, their first day. Four and one. Day one of many to come outside in the southeast Texas summer heat. Kind of teaching them the fundamentals, kind of starting from the complete basic of marching, teaching them, you know, basically how to stand there. How yes, you heard right, standing there. It sounds easy, but there should be no wiggling. Why do I see wiggling? They run a tight ship. You were told to keep a position for a long while, you know, so just keeping that self control physically and then the sun beating down on you. With rigorous practice comes a high risk of dehydration. Right. Everybody sit down, take a water break. Band directors require these students to carry at least a 32 ounce bottle just like this one. In addition, they're supposed to drink at least 16 ounces of water every 30 minutes. Multiple times we've had people fall out or, you know, they get kind of this kind of start wobbling and then, you know, we tell them to sit down, drink some water, you know, get in the shade. Most people say drink enough water. I mean, I cannot. I've seen people pass out on the field and stuff. It's not pretty. Your hands are going to hurt a bit, but that'll get you used to it. While we were at practice, no one got sick, but health is a top priority for these student leaders. Westbrook! You know, so if they can, you know, buy a camel bag, it's... Then you don't even have to worry about taking a water break. You just sneak one in. If you're getting overheated, you come and tell us. We'll let you go. We're not. We're not going to endanger your health for discipline. In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel. Detail. Arten. Hot. Westbrook. KFDM Six News. Heat stroke symptoms include headache, nausea, dizziness, and chills. Doctors say if you think someone might be suffering from heat stroke or dehydration, give them ice water immediately and put them in a shady area.